Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Ultimate. In today's video, we will learn how to perform text manipulation by extracting data from PDF invoice. I would like to show you an example. So I have five different sets of PDF form. Both of all of them are has the same format. So let me open them. Okay, so uh, all of these invoices contains the same information. So what we're going to extract is the item quantity unit cost amount. So um this we call this as a table items whereas this information here and invoice due date date balance and due to is considered as the general information so now what we're going to do next this is where this what are we going to do with the with this sets of information right I'm going to write all this information into Excel. So over here, I've created an invoice template here, right? The invoice template here. I have a general info sheet, which is the invoice date, balance due, subtotal, tax shipping total, and the table items are the item, quantity, unit cost, and amount. So I'm going to, each time after I, when I generate this set of record, I will uh, write it into an Excel form. Okay, so. Let's go back to the general info here. So after I extract all this information, at the end of this each loop, I already have the sets of variable, right? So I'm going to write this into Excel. But first of all, I need to launch the Excel first, right? I launch Excel from the start. And I open a following document. I will call my template. Okay, and I, I want to put it as a background. Okay, I click save. Let me enable this. Okay, let me save just in case. Right, so now I have the Excel instance. I go back to my general info here. I look for set Excel sheet because I want to set it on a on a general info sheet, right? I want to write it here. I do not want to write it here. So I set the active Excel sheet to general info. Set active Excel worksheet. And in this case, I just put it as index zero, index one. Okay. And then, I will use get the first three row. Okay, it's actually putting at the wrong wrong area. Let me move this to the bottom okay and then i get the first few row now i'm going to write to excel worksheet Okay, so for here, I will want to write the value to write will be invoice and on a specified cell at column A, row will be first three row. Let's see, and I repeat this for the remaining set of data. Okay. 
table. So for general input done, the next step is we're going to do for the extract table items. So for the extract table items, right? Uh, we are doing this for each row. We are we are actually getting the value uh, in a dynamic way. So we can't use the final output because the final output will always be the last item. So we have to do it inside this for each row. So inside this for each, right? I'm going to set the active Excel sheet. And the index will be 2. So then I get the get first free row. Then I'm going to write the server sheet and column A item trim. Okay, so uh this one is the item name, and then you repeat the same concept for quantity, unit cost, and amount. Maybe a column B. Okay, and then after that, once all done, I want to close the Excel. When I save it as, I want to save it as a different name called Extracted Invoices. Okay, so let's try to run this flow. It takes some time to load because there's a lot of looping involved in the description. So it will be done soon. See what is it here to activate the sheet? Okay, most likely I accidentally closed the four here. Let me try to run this again because I'm running it in the background
Okay, so now it's done. Let me open the file and shut up invoice. Okay, so let me make this to auto align. Right, so as you can see here, we've already extracted all the information. Let's see. So for the first one, invoice number 1001, 15 gen, 31 gen. All the items number here match. Sub total. That's invoice. Okay, now we go to the table items. We have total of 6 items and quantity 12, 13, 5, 1, 7. 12, 13, 12, 3, 5, 1, 7. Okay, we got this right. So now let's try to run a different PDF form. So let me set this as, let me copy this form first. And I got look for tailspin. So let me open the tailspin PDF form. Okay, so we have five items as well, but five, fifteen, three, twenty-eight, and the different amount and different contact number as well. So let me run this again. Right, so it's done. Let's open the form again and we compare it. Okay, so we have a 92.696743515328. Okay, and then we go to the general info. Let me auto align this. And then, yes, we got the correct contact and info. Yeah, so this is how we can do a uh, text manipulation when we are reading file from a uh, PDF. Yes. So if you are keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant update and tutorial videos on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Thank you.